Hey, what's up everybody? It's Robert Anthony. Robert Anthony Photography, how you doing? Today's video is brought to you, of course, by rafotog.com. That's my website, rafotog.com. There's a link in the product description below. You can buy prints and canvases and metals and all kinds of stuff at the website. So come on over. Today's video is kind of interesting. Um, in my own life right now, I, you know, life has uh, taken a swing, a hard right swing at my chin and uh, is connected. So uh, it's taken a little bit of life out of me. Um, so now I have to apply all of the stuff that I lecture about in my videos about when life, uh, you know, takes a swing at you, you got to keep going. So I thought it appropriate then, uh, as I was going through all of my different content, uh, to produce a video today from Devil's Tower National Monument over in Wyoming. I was there last, uh, I guess it would be in the spring, it was the last stop of a round uh, robin trip throughout the Rockies and whatnot. And um, there's some words that I have at the end of this that were pertinent to what was going on at the time in the media and in the news and nationally. And as I was watching the different clips to figure out what I'm going to do this particular next video about, I landed on that clip and thought, I'm talking to myself. So I want to share this video with you. There's a couple of really good shots at the end. There's some drone photography that I was able to do. I think you're going to like it if you stick around uh, toward the end. Uh, more uh, unsolicited life advice, but most importantly, it applies to me. Oh, life, huh? We all got crap we got to deal with. Well, that's about it for now. Let's get to the video. See you at the end. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm in Sheridan, Wyoming. Dropped my daughter off this morning uh, in Bozeman, Montana. Have been driving across the beautiful state of Montana for the last four hours. Headed to Devil's Tower National Monument in Wyoming. So we're going to be going across the great state of Wyoming to the east corner uh, to stay the night. Do a little photography, maybe. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. But got some coffee at a little drive through That's been really great. Quick Walmart stop to take care of a few things. And uh, just fueled up. Let's get on the road. It's looking at the trail that goes around this here Devil's Tower. I think we're going to hike it. Check it out. See if there are good spots to photograph. There's like a six mile trail that goes around uh, the Devil's Tower and I decided I would hike it. It's pretty good, it's really pretty. But it uh, was up a little bit more than I was anticipating. Didn't bring water, bad idea.
Well, I have yet to find a place to photograph it. If I, if I were, this makes the most sense. It's so big and the trail is so close to the unit, the device, the rock, it'd be hard to photograph. But hey, you know, we might try, we might not. I'm just not sure. I guess we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna continue to walk the trail, take you with me. I hope you enjoy it. It's been, uh, it's been a really pretty trail. I have enjoyed it quite a bit, and this is quite the sight. It takes me back to being a kid, close encounters of the third kind. Yep. It's a little longer hike than I anticipated, probably around six miles total around the base. There are a few spots I found that would be really nice for doing some sunset photography. Sunrise photography from over at the camp where I'm staying will probably be quite nice and we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm just not sure. Um, throw up a few snaps from the phone, uh, but if I get some shots with the main camera, I'm going to put those on the screen for you so you can see them. I think that'd be a lot of fun. That's going to pretty much round out my trip to Devil's Tower National Monument. It's been a beautiful morning, uh, quiet, very quiet. There's an upper field up here that um, around the back side, I guess, from where I was camping. Uh, it's just beautiful, quiet. There's been deer roaming around, and um, it, it's it's really just been really special. Quiet morning. Uh, there's no people here, unlike the other places I've been. So. That's been really, really nice. It'll be good to get back on the road and head toward home, which I'm gonna be doing here shortly. But, uh, you know, I am just really grateful as things are starting to slow down a little bit for me. I'm able to think back and reflect over the period of the last four or five weeks that I've spent time with good friends, uh, two of my children, um, my cousin. And uh, just, I think about all the ways in which um, I've seen the Lord's hand over my life and the way that he's been protecting everything that I've been doing while at the same time, in his own way, um, exercising my faith or causing me to have to exercise my faith. Um, you know, I fell, as you know, in the subway uh, when I was hiking the subway, really hurt my lower hip back here. But uh, as my friend John had pointed out, um, if you were to see my phone, had he had the phone not been in my pocket, um, I would have been probably injured to the point of almost being uh, needing to be helivacked out of that canyon. Um, the van has had things that have gone wrong with it, and if you know me, you know everything's a big disaster if it's a vehicle related issue, and they've all been seemingly worrisome only to find out or to have it turn out that they are minor things where bolts have needed to be tightened um, or 
Uh, I was in the right place at the right time to be just moments away from a, a mechanic that could fix a problem that was a very simple fix. Um, or in the last town before the big, huge mountain range in the Tetons, when the cooling system started leaking, uh, which could have been catastrophic had we been 60, 70 miles from town. Um, you know, it just timing, timing is everything. <laughs> Keep up the good fight. Keep the faith. Keep walking forward one foot in front of the other and life will turn out okay. It really will. It's not in your time, it's in God's time. It's one of the things that I've had to come to terms with in my own life. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you find it helpful. I hope you've enjoyed the scenery. If you'll like, subscribe, share, and leave your comments. It helps me a lot. Show you a few snaps that I got. Um, nothing fancy. Hard to photograph out here. There aren't clouds. It's not much, but pretty cool thing. And photos don't do this thing justice. Rob on the road. So uh, I guess as you always know, this is Rob. I'm out. <laughs>